64-32, the final score. They're introducing the boys for the boys game. But let's go back and show you some of the highlights of the girls game. Irving winning this one handily, doubling up the score. Some of the highlights, this is Dillingham passing off and her teammate hits the deuce right there. Driving is Needham and putting it in. Now here is Tierra taking a pass from, no, that's Brianna taking a pass from Dillingham. Underneath shot is up and shot is in. Brianna Needham right there. And as far as the scoring highlights were concerned, those were the highlights. The uh, Rodriguez had 12 points, Gerencher had seven, Padilla six, Alondra Rodriguez four, and Solis had three. Tara Needham finishes up with 22 points. Sanchez had 12, Dillingham 12, Okiki 10, and Needham had seven. 64-32, the final score. They're introducing the starting lineups now for the Lions. And this is uh, Via Toro right here. He'll be the shortest guy out on the court for the Irving Tigers, but also one of the deadliest as a three-point shooter. Let's put up the starters for you right now. For the Lions, Davis, Bolden, Wolford, Barrera, and Watson. And for the Irving Tigers, Thomas, Viatora, Wills, Mitchell, and Bowman. Show you the starting, the overall standings for the team here at Trinity with a record of 21 and four. McArthur. Now these are the season records. McArthur 16 and four. You can see Irving 11 and 10. District-wise, Trinity's 10 and one. McArthur 9 and two. Irving 7 and four. And uh, all the way down on the bottom, Aurel Turner. 0 and 11 in district play. They are 2 and 17 overall. So it's been a real grim year for the Lions of R.L. Turner. And uh, with uh, the redistricting just made available yesterday, R.L. Turner will remain in the district with the three Irving schools. And joining those four will be uh, four schools from Dallas, Jesuit, White, Sunset, and Skyline. Now to bring you all the play-by-play -play activity of tonight's game, here's Lance Brown. All right, thank you very much, Bob Berry, and there you go, see Coach Stephen Perry, always Natalie attired, and he dresses well, too. Yes. <laughs> so it is controlled by the Irving Tigers here in the early going. This is Kevon Thomas. Via Toro and Thomas playing catch as they look at a zone defense right now to start things off. Into the corner, three point shot. Does not fall that time for Mitchell. And it's a two on one, and Turner throws the ball away, and Irving comes away with it. First turnover of the ball game. As we see Will with a basketball, gets it back. Taking the round, goes to Mitchell. Mitchell with a drive, and those are the first two points. Deshaun Mitchell with the two points, and we are going here. Back the other way, two-point shot. The fallaway jumper that time for Golden won't fall, but the Lions control. Nice dish off inside, and it finally falls that time. And that was uh, Ferris Watson with the two points. Tigers working around the horn. Offensive foul is going to be called on here. Here's first. Irving with a victory tonight and a loss by Nimitz, who uh, tonight is playing uh, Heritage, would put the uh, Tigers guaranteed in the playoffs. But Nimitz still with a shot at the uh, at the playoffs, so there he goes right for them. But we'll talk more about that later on as we see the little hesitation drive and the shot is put up. 
And drawing the foul that time is Alonzo Barrera. And it wasn't Alonzo, but it was uh, Lonnie Bolden back. Bolden. And it's first. Bolden, who leads the team in scoring with 14 a game. Gets two right there. Irving getting it across. Wide open is Toro. That was almost automatic, Bobby. He just had so much time to set that thing up. Irving with a one-point lead as we come back the other way. Nice shot. And going to the line will be Watson. We watch it again here. Nice dish, and Watson's hammered. Try it again. And he gets one out of the two. Ron Quio in the game replacing Wills, he's got two fouls. Leotoro is hammered. And we'll I don't think they're going to give him a free throw, but we'll see. No, they won't. Toro wide open for three. Too long. But he was hammered and will go to the line and shoot three. That foul is on Barrera. And Nelson will get three free throws. Nelson not particularly happy with himself after missing the first two. He gets one out of three, and the Tigers back in the lead by one. Oop, kind of an oopsie play that time by Trevino. Ball tip. Here come the Lions. It's a three on two break. Right straight down the middle goes Bolden. And Stephen Perry is going, hey, that's an offensive foul. What the, what the hey here? And they don't think so much. Toro, yeah, he was moving. Toro picks up the, chart, the uh, blocking foul. Officials tonight, C.J. Richardson, Fred Knight, and Andrew Bonner. They did the girls game right before this. And Bolden misses the first. 10 seniors on this Turner team. And Coach Billy Macklin says, you know, we've been competitive. We've, we've been some taking some teams down to the line and made them sweat. Trapping defense that time by Turner, but the Tigers will retain possession. 5-10 remaining here, first quarter of action. We are at the Irving Gymnasium. Here's Viatoro inside to Bowman. Bowman fighting his way up, gets the rebound, and hits it. Grant Bowman showing why it's good to be big. Three-point shot from the corner, no good by Bolden. Thomas 
You work it around via Toro for three, won't draw. And the loose ball rebound hauled down by Davis. Davis wide open at the free throw line, hits it. Tristan Davis with his first two points of the night. We are tied at Ocho here. Thomas, nice pass into Bowman. Looking for a cutter, no one's there. Mitchell outside, almost loses it, goes behind the back, and a reach-in foul is going to be called on Barrera. That'll be Alfonso's second foul. Ron Keogh will trigger it in for the Tigers. Thomas and Mitchell. Thomas looking for someone underneath. No one's there, so he'll dribble. Here's Viatoro tries to drive the lane, loses the basketball. Here come the Lions. It's a three-on-one break. And charging foul is going to be called. Well, he had two people to pass off to. Instead, he just decided to run over Kevon Thomas. Bad decision. And that is Barrera's third foul, so he's going to come out of the ballgame. That really kills you when you have a three-on-one. You don't score and you pick up a foul. I mean, yeah, that's, that's just about the worst. <laughs> yeah. Please. <laughs> but it happens, doesn't it? Well, there's a reason why they won mm -hmm. two games this year. Mm -hmm. And there's a, one of the many coaches in the Irving School District who's happened, Aaron De La Torre, the head football coach. They don't have to play Trinity for another two years. Mm-hmm. Unless, of course, they want to schedule in the non-district. <laughs> <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that might happen. And I might start a quarterback with the Cowboys next year. All right. Good shot of Billy Macklin. Yep, he's in he's third from, year. Yeah, he's from Fort Worth originally. And he was an assistant coach over here in the Irving District. Very uh, personable guy. Yes, he is. Toro inside, they play inside, outside. Toro for nine points, and he hits it. <laughs> Nelson with two three-pointers there in the first half, and the Tigers with that three-point lead. Nice drive, won't fall. Who's going to come up with it? Thomas. Timeout called by Irving. <laughs> Devon, smart move there to call that timeout. Because you move your buns on the floor like that, Bob, and you get called for traveling. You sure do. <laughs> Might add that Kristen Amenis is in there for the Irving Tigers. So the Tigers with a good shot at getting back into the playoffs this year. All they really have to do is win two more games, and they are in the playoffs. But they... They would lose a tiebreaker if somehow they tie Nimitz because Nimitz won both the uh, district ball games played against her. Chris Garcia also in there for the Tigers. So the Tigers spread things out right now. Toro back to Thomas. Inside all alone. And getting the two points that time is Chris Garcia. Nice job of seeing the open man. Into the corner. Shuffling his feet is Mason Trevino. <laughs> you come to Irving, Bob, and you hear the, uh, the fans are quite uh, loud here. Yes, they are. They, they'll <laughs> get on players. <laughs> Thomas with a drive. And a foul, and they go to the line, and it looked like uh, referee Anthony Bonner, I mean, uh, Fred Knight, hurt his knee or something. Or yeah, he fell. Down. He fell down. So. Mm -hmm. so he's got a hitch in his get along. First ball on Watson. Watch this one more time. 
That was very close to being either a charge or a block. I think he could have called that one either way. You know, and that's so many, that's the case so many times in all basketball, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instantaneous judgment call. And, you know, did, it, did the player get set or not defensively? Hard to tell. Thomas completes the three point play. So the Tigers up by seven. And a turnover. But Diatoro had the ball, but it's unfortunately for the Tigers, his foot was on the line. Kamani Taylor into the ball game for the Lions. We have Lions and Tigers. He's going to be the uh, stronger animal here. Davis with a basketball as he looks in. 2.30 remaining. Off balance shot. Follow up shot is up and in that time by Mason Trevino. So Trevino gets the deuce. This is Thomas on the dribble. Nice pass to Mitchell, open at the free throw line and puts it up and in. The shot on the floor, Tigers again with an eight point lead. Three point shot up and in that time for Wolfer. Christian for the first tray of the night for the Lions. Is he a toe who has two trays by himself? Look at Ron Horn. Mitchell goes into a double team, falls back, but took a step to do it. Wolford gets it off to Davis, and Davis with a nice drive with a two pointer. And it's now a three point lead for the Tigers. The Atoyle bringing it across the 10 second line. Irving going to make two changes here in just a moment. Ball is tipped and stolen away. And Tigers come right back with it that time. And Garcia was fouled. First foul on Davis as Mitchell will sit down along with Jimenez. Wilkerson in the ball game for Irving. Via Toro and foul on Irving. The foul on Chris Garcia, his first. And so here comes Herner. Wolford on the dribble, gives off Davis. Davis is fouled that time by Michael Coley into the ball game. Wolford won't fall. But coming away with it is Ferreira. Ferreira pulls it back. Looks up at the clock with 22 seconds left. As he's hawked that time by Wilkerson. Davis. Loses it. Thomas picks his pocket. It's a one on two. Thomas with a shot that just won't fall. Back we come the other way. Boulder and at the buzzer and he hits it. How about that? Boulder with a three-pointer at the buzzer and we're tied at 18. Watch this one more time as they're counting them down. And bada bing, bada boom. Three-point shot, we're tied at 18. We'll be back for quarter number two right after this.
We are underway here in the second quarter, tied at 18. Tigers had an eight point lead at one point, and it's gotten away from them. This is Wolford on the dribble, picked up by Via Toro. They go inside Davis. Davis shot won't go. Offensive board is put up by Trevino. It won't fall. And yet another chance here as a two point shot by Bolden is off. And a steal that time and a miss by Wilford. But Wilford will go to the line and shoot a pair. Seventh team foul for the Tigers. So after this, the Lions will be shooting one on one. Wolford to shoot another one, and it won't fall. So here come the Tigers, trailing by one. There's Thomas. There's Coley. Wilkerson gives off to Thomas. Coley looks. Coley open for three, short. Davis comes away with it, trying to streak down one on three, loses the basketball out of bounds, but it will still belong to the Lions. And they get a foul, too. Yep. Wilkerson, I do believe, number 24. Since we're not on the side of the score, we can't always see the officials' hands. Davis misses the first. His first trip to the foul line tonight. But he hits the second. And the Tigers trail by one again. Oh, two, okay. Oh, it's a little short with the, with the scoreboard there for a second. Thomas, outside, saved by Coley nicely. Cross-court pass inside. Bowman lays it up and in. That's some nice team right there. Grant Bowman now with four points. In the corner, three-point shot, short. Comes right back to Coley. Coley gives off to Thomas. Coley and Thomas, two of the very good football players on the Tigers this year, along with Deshaun Thomas. And there you have the turnover. Here comes Davis, a one on two. Nice bounce pass inside. Very good teamwork. And coming away is Christian Wolford with the two. But Davis gets the assist. Two point lead right now for Turner. Nice move that time by Ronquillo. Coley drives the baseline. And picking up the foul will be Wolford. So going to the line to shoot a pair will be Michael Coley. Coley's been doing a lot of visiting campuses regarding his future in football. Makes the first. We understand Vanderbilt University was one of his uh, visits. One of the more prestigious academic schools in the Southeast Conference. Ball knocked out. And it will still be Turner basketball. Roderick bins into the ball game for the Lions. Ken Francis also out there for Turner. This is Davis on the dribble, picked up by Thomas. Didn't advance it in five seconds. That's the call. Boy, that's the kind of turnover that'll kill you. Thomas and Ron Keogh in the backcourt right now. 
Thomas picked up by Davis. Thomas off the glass, one fall. Thomas gets the rebound, puts it up, and he's fouled, and he'll shoot a pair. Hits the first. He's two for two at the line so far. Make it three for three. And Jimenez comes back into the ball game for the Tigers. As Thomas will get a break. Almost a steal that time by Coley. Davis puts up the two. Bowman with a rebound. And here comes Ron Keel as we're under five minutes in the second quarter. Tigers lead by two. They go around the horn. Inside Bowman. Back outside. Ron Keel for three. Yes. Luis Ron Keel gets the tray. And the Tigers are up by five. Into the corner. Davis picked up by Coley. The two number ones going against one another. They give off to Bolden. Bolden dribbles down, puts up the shot, won't fall. Loose. Putting it up and in. That's a two pointer by Ken Francis. His first two points of the evening. Irving basketball. Ron Keel is going to back it out with 350 remaining here in the quarter. Thinks about it. Instead gives to Coley. Coley picked up by Davis. Three point shot by Mitchell won't fall. Here comes Turner the other way. Francis. Won't fall, offensive board put up and in that time for Taylor. Kamani Taylor with his first points of the night. And it's a one point lead for Irving. Three minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Mitchell and Coley playing catch that time. Jimenez inside Bowman. Bowman tries to bully his way under the basket. Nice try, but a nice stuff by Bowden. Underneath, and ball goes out. Watch this replay. Really nice defensive play. <laughs> Bolden go up there and, and stuff uh, Bowman with that shot. So Tigers lead by one. And Stephen Perry, by the way, was uh, very happy about the district realignment. As, as was Billy Macklin for that point. I think it was a, a great deal of uh, sympathy about losing Trinity and Bell and Heritage, especially for the football coaches. And some of us broadcasters won't be sorry not to have a call, have to call a Trinity game. <laughs> That's a, that is the toughest team in the Metroplex to call. All those Samoan players. Oh, yes. man, a lie. Oh. <laughs> Turner basketball as we're under three minutes left. Nice steal that time for Coley anticipating. He loses it. And it will be Turner basketball. Nice move by Bims. Outside, the long shot won't fall for Wolford. Back up and in that time. That's Francis. Ken Francis with four points here tonight. And Turner back in the lead by one. Yeah. 
Mitchell. Long peel to Thomas inside to Garcia, and Garcia's fouled, and we'll go to the line and shoot a pair. Not good with the first one. There's one more shot to try to tie the game up. And gets that one to fall, and we are tied at 28. Nice pass inside. The shot won't fall that time, but going to the line will be Bins to shoot two. Chris Garcia gets hit with that foul. Both teams now have nine fouls. So either team picking up another foul, their opponent gets the double bonus. Ben throws a brick up there. He Starting that thing up about 80 miles an hour, it came back at 95. Yeah, man. That's yeah. Whoa. some oompa on that one, didn't yeah, it? Really? Blaine Phillips into the ball game for the Lions for the first time tonight. Bowman in and Garcia out. That time a little better touch shown by Benz and he puts his team back into the lead by one point. Two, 14 remaining in the first half. Thomas looks over at his coach, tells him what he wants him to do. Bowman comes out on the high post. Thomas directing traffic, didn't like where Ron Keel was going. Now he gives it to Ron Keel, and Ron Keel back to Thomas. Thomas cross court, three-point shot, will not fall that time for Coley. Inside, Bowman puts it up and in, and it's five. Grant Bowman with a chance at a three-point play here. He has put his team back into the lead, and watch this, Bob. Bowman getting the rebound, then determined to drive and put the shot up. <laughs> Had a defender hanging all over him, but he was still able to make the basket. He's a big guy. He ain't going to move him easy. And Bowman completes the three-point play. Nice job by Grant. Tigers up by two. Ben on the dribble. Gives off Davis. Davis drives to the free throw line. It won't fall. Benz comes away with it. Gives it off to a teammate. Bolden, cross court Davis. Davis with a minute 20 left. Pulls up from seven. No good. And I think a foul is going to be called on Benz as he is trying to hold on to Mitchell from letting him get away with a basketball. Now Mitchell will get two shots. Both teams now in the double bonus. Correct to Mundo. This is the second. Turner basketball. Bolden goes to the baseline. Nothing's there. And five seconds going to be called on him. Boy, that's the second time they didn't advance the ball. And Bolden is irate. He, yeah. he is really angry at that call. And I think he's got a right to. You know, I kind of agree with you on that. Yeah. Wilkerson comes into the ball game for Irving. We haven't seen Via Toro in a while. Or or Wills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wills got those two quick fouls and he's been on the bench ever since.
Thomas with 43 seconds left. Now he gets the, the mark. Still got to move it forward still. Now he moves it forward. Tigers playing for the last shot. The reach in foul is going to be called on Dins. So shooting two will be Thomas. Foley getting ready to check in again. Thomas hits the first. He's had four attempts from the foul line and he's hit them all. Foley in, Wilkerson out. Jimenez is out. Thomas, a perfect five for five from the line tonight so far. As the Tigers have the five point lead. Dins loses the basketball. Tigers have 15 seconds to do something with it. Here's Thomas. Double team, they're trying to do some trapping here. Tigers have been able to get away from it. Five seconds left, two, one. Long fall at the buzzer. Nice try by Mitchell, but couldn't get it to go. And at the turn, it's the Tigers leading by a score of 34 to 29. We'll be back for the second half right after this. It's halftime here at the Irving campus and the Tigers with a five point lead over the lines of our old Turner. Let's show you some of the scoring highlights from the first half of Bolivia. There were quite a few of them. No sooner said than done. This is Wilford putting up a shot. Driving is Davis with the floater banking in off the glass. And then this miraculous buzzer beater for three. That's how the first quarter ended. Back comes the Tigers, that's Viatoro uh, with one three-pointer. Viatoro with the second one. Ron Keo adds a tray. And this is Bowman getting a rebound and fighting and putting up the shot. He was fouled and he made that foul shot as well. So that was a three-point play for Mr. Bowman. 34-29 our score at halftime. Here you see the scoring. Bolden and Wolford both with uh, six points. Davis with five. Then Watson, Trevino, geez, what is this, golf? <laughs> and now here we see uh, the Tigers. Three young men with seven points each. Thomas, Viator, and Bowman. And here is Lance Brown. All right, thank you, Bob. Nice move inside to try to feed into Bowman. Ball gets knocked away. We'll still be Irving basketball out there. And you have Wills, Viator, Thomas on the floor along with Bowman and Kashawn Mitchell. Same starters, we're gonna have a foul on Mitchell. For pushing off and he looks around and goes, who, me? Imagine that. Wolford out there on the floor right now along with Barrera, Watson, Davis with the basketball right now. Two point shot, won't fall, ball tip, Bowman with a rebound. Here comes Wills. He's he sat most of the first half on the bench with the early fouls. Into the corner, three-point shot. Yes, R.J. Wills. Putting his team up by eight points. Right, no shot, no shot. Offensive foul. Boy, that's a heartbreaker. Boy, it really is. Watch this one more time, Bob. This is worth watching, too. <laughs> That's a good call. I mean, no yeah. doubt that Bowman had position. <laughs> and Bolden gets the foul. Tigers with the ball, looking to increase their eight-point lead right now as we come up on the seven-minute mark. Thomas and Mitchell playing catch. 
Viatoro drives and they left him wide open. Bad defense that time. And Viatoro now with nine points. Davis gives off at the free throw line. It's Wolford hitting the deuce. So again, it's an eight point lead for Coleman. Wide oh. open, so why not? Well, maybe that's why not. <laughs> Davis shot this off. Mitchell tying the ball up. They're going to call alternating positions, I think. And it will be blue basketball. Bolden triggered in. Davis pulls it out as we come up on the six minute mark. Bolden took a step before he passed the ball off. Or Wolford, excuse me. So a turnover again for the Lions. And the Tigers with a victory tonight and a loss by Nimitz will clinch the playoffs. Bowman couldn't handle it. Here comes Turner. Wide open, off the glass, and putting it up and in is Lonnie Bowden, who has eight points here tonight. Chris Garcia getting set to check back in for Irving. Wills outside via Toro for three. Via Toro now with 12 points. Wolford. Gives off Davis. Davis loses it via Toro with a steal, but he gives it up. And a nice drive that time by Christian Wolford. Wolford with 10 points here tonight. Deshaun Mitchell to Bowman. Bowman puts his man up in the air and does a good job. Grant Bowman now with nine points here tonight. Nine point lead for the Tigers. And the turnover again. Garcia looked like he was going to come in, but instead he sits down. I guess Stephen Perry liked what he saw from Bowman that last time. Tigers with a nine-point lead in the basketball. Mitchell thinks about a three, but doesn't do it. Wills, Thomas, Ronquillo draws the foul. Ken Francis will come into the ball game. And Kamani Taylor also in for the Lions. Irving basketball. Inside to Mitchell, but a whistle and a foul. Flag of song Wolford. School board operator not keeping up with points or fouls. Viatoro for three. Oh, <laughs> the boy is hot. Eight and a quarter now for Nelson. Tigers up by a dozen. A good quarter for Irving, a good quarter for Viatoro, and a push-off foul is going to be by Francis on Viatoro. So Nelson doing it on both ends of the floor. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> And the timeout is called by Coach Billy Macklin. Didn't like what he was seeing there. By the way, in the JV game, Irving winning it by a score of 65 to 53. 
and the Irving girls winning 64-32. Yep. So the boys looking for the trifecta. See if all three teams can win for Irving. Don't know what the uh, Irving girls JV did. <laughs> They're probably playing that right now, aren't they? Maybe they played it earlier. I don't know. But there's Stephen Terra. Right. Okay. Nine years as a head coach here. Keep on right. Okay. That's Nelson. This is RJ, correct? He's done a good job. Okay, who's my shooter? Mm -hmm. Keep on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keeps the players' heads into the ball game. Some of the Turner girls' basketballers. Looking kind of tired after a long season that they did not win a game. 26 games, 26 losses. That'll, that'll drain you, I'll tell yeah, you. That, yeah, it really will. We've seen that here in Irving, too, so. Oh, yeah. I remember the Nimitz boys went winless one year and they had the leading score in the area. Kevon Thomas with a nice drive that time. Thomas with nine points now as the ball is knocked out. And it will be Irving basketball. So RJ Wills will trigger it in with 320 remaining. Wow. Left wide open. Thomas does not hit it, however. And here comes Davis. Davis pushing it up the floor with a lousy pass. Rio Toro comes to operate from the point position. Says pass it to him. He did. Thomas outside via Toro. Drives. Dishes outside. Three-point shot. Will not fall that time for Wills. Back up and in. Keyshawn Mitchell with seven points. Two thirty left. Tigers with a 16-point lead right now. They have really started pulling away here in this third quarter. And just one turnover after another. Player control foul that time. Yeah. yeah. Lions have scored only six points in this quarter. and Just a lot of turnovers. They're just not playing good basketball. They made it tight in that second quarter. In the first quarter, too, when they were tied. But here in the third quarter, it's another ball game. Via Toro, one of the big reasons why. Thomas. Wills directs Via Toro to come over. Nelson looks it around, backs it out with 155 remaining. They try to get it into Bowman. He has to come out from the tip ball and get it. They bounce it back into Bowman. Uses the big body for his advantage. How about that, Bob? Little spin move by Grant Bowman. He's in double figures with 11. Good job by Grant. Nice effort that time by Toro. But will still be blue basketball. Tigers lead by 18. Mims. Or Bims, excuse me, not Mims. Bims. Rod gets it top of the key. Three-point shot. Yeah, nothing but the bottom of the net. Nice try there by Wolford. Wolford with 13 points here tonight. As Thomas waits for the Lions to come challenge him. Now they finally do via Toro. Gets the five-second count, backs it out, now throws it in. A little hesitation moves. The Tigers look like they're playing for the last shot. And this is a good thing to work on. These are things you're going to have to do in the playoffs, perhaps. The 
except you don't want to do it like that. <laughs> Tigers not able to get the steal that time off the trap. And kind of an oops play, and Mitchell with the steal. Got a healthy stealthy basketball. Mitchell took it away, but took a step before he did. And via Toro. He has spent more time on the floor than the cleaning lady here tonight. Yeah, she's, she has been on that, uh, that hardwood a lot. Wolford with the basketball, 20 seconds left. Toro chases after him and knocks the ball loose. They throw it long to Toro. He tries to save it, does to Thomas. Thomas gets it off to Mitchell, but it's stolen away by Francis. Francis loses it. Three seconds left, two seconds, one second. It counts. Ken Francis hits the shot at the buzzer. And at the end of three quarters of action, the Tigers leading it by a score of 53 to 40. We'll be back with quarter number four right after this. We're all set to start the fourth quarter here at the Irving campus. The Tigers up by 13, 53 to 40. One of the reasons why they enjoy the lead is the three-point shooting of Nelson Biotoro. As he hit that three-pointer, he hits this three-pointer. Again, a three-point shot, bam. And another three-pointer up and in. So he has really hit the trays. Now to bring you the rest of the game, here's Lance. All right, thank you, Bob. Tigers just do get the ball in on time. This is Wills with a basketball. Gives to Coley and to Via Toro. Garcia's out there along with Ronquillo. Nelson. Here's Via Toro. Ron Keo. Top of the key. Garcia, he took a step. Took a step, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Garcia looked at that, what? <laughs> yeah, he did. Back the other way we come. Taylor with a basketball. Looks at his counterpart, number 33, and decides, I don't think I'll shoot. They kick it out. Ball loose. Dorian Foster losing it. And a reach and foul on Foster. Jimenez coming in will take Via Toro's place. Via Toro needs a little rest. Ron Keogh to trigger it in. Does so. And they throw it away. Two on one. Nice job by Benz, but he blows the layup. A whistle and a foul is going to be called on Ron Keogh. And Ron Keogh going, what? <laughs> Me, huh? So Wolford will go to the line and shoot a pair. <laughs> Wolford hits the first. This is the second. Tigers with the ball on a 12-point lead. 
They led by 18 at one point. Huh? <laughs> Coley passed the ball in, and Garcia was looking at uh, his man, uh, Jimenez, and they just kind of looking at who was supposed to get the ball. And Coley's kind of saying, yeah, well, why are you going to get it? Nice shot that time by Bolden. Bolden now in double figures with 10. And we have a timeout. It's a 12-point lead again for the Mid-City Kitties. I think now, Bob, it's time to talk about those good folk who bring us the ball game of the week each week on ICTN. I couldn't agree more. No sooner said than done. Gerald Staveley Dry Cleaning, a charter sponsor of the Irving Game of the Week. And as we always like to make mention of the Staley organization, that charter sponsorship means they've been with us since the onset of these broadcasts. And that goes all the way back to September of 1983. Many, many moons ago, like yeah. how about 31 years? Yeah, boy, that yeah. seems like a long yeah. time, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. 31 years is a long time. Yeah, it as, is. as people in the penitentiary can tell you. <laughs> and again, we thank them very much for their participation and their loyalty. Absolutely. Thank you, Stavely folks. All right, 624 remaining in this basketball game. Mitchell. Thomas directing traffic now. Gives it to Wills. Ron Keel to Garcia. Ron Keel can't handle the bad pass. Nice pass. Garcia goes up. And he'll get hit with a foul, but the important thing is they didn't get the easy layup. <laughs> Nothing easy about that, as you can you can see Lonnie Bolden really in some distress. He goes up for the shot. Yeah, he really you can see why. Flipped. He yeah. gets whacked by Garcia, yeah. and then he hits the floor. Yeah. So Bolden will shoot a pair. He has 10 points. And now Bowman will replace Garcia, and Ron Keel is replaced by the Atoro. The chance to make it an eight-point game here. That does good. Still does, you know, you chip away at it. A lot of time left. We have seen bigger leads evaporate. The Toro goes one to Thomas. Wills on the baseline. Dishes way back Ron Keel, or not Ron Keel, the Toro goes back outside. Tigers with some patience out here. Wills dishes off. Bowman, Bowman can't make it. Gets his rebound, puts it up. It's stripped away. And Mitchell wants to put up a deuce. And it looked like he pushed off to do it. The Turner with a chance to chip away at the Tiger lead here. Bolden looks inside, gives off Davis. Davis, fall away jumper, won't fall. Thomas clears the board with 508 remaining in the regulation. Viatoro and Thomas playing catch out on the high post area. Wills thinks about a three, instead pulls it back outside. Tom, Tiger's showing patience here. They have the lead. They don't need to take a lot of desperation shots. Wills, Mitchell puts it up, the follow-up, but Wills will go to the line and shoot two. RJ with three tonight. Still with three. And now, timeout is taken by Billy Macklin. Well, his team only trails by nine. I mean, stranger things have happened, Robert. That they have. Uh, obviously, right now, the Tigers would appear to the, be in the driver's seat. One advantage that the Tigers have, besides playing at home, is the fact that the Lions have already picked up six personal fouls. 
One more, and then the Tigers will go into the bonus, shooting one and one. The Tigers, on the other hand, have committed only three fouls in the second half. Always a consideration when you play these games. Coming up next week on ICTN, we will have uh, the Lady Cardinals from MacArthur playing in a bi-district basketball game against whom we do not know yet, <laughs> but we will shortly after tonight, in fact. You, of course, already know that at home, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah, there's but we do know those are the days you'll see this <laughs> game right here on ICTN. And then in two weeks, we'll have the boys by district game, whether it'll be Irving or Mac or Nimitz, we don't know. Maybe they'll play a triple header in one day. In three different locations. They might play it all here. <laughs> I remember that one day we had uh, at Texas Stadium where we had that triple header. Correct. Yeah. That was uh, in the early 2000, like 2002, I want to say, when Irving, Mack, and Nimitz all made the playoffs. First shot, or second shot, excuse me, put in by Will. My uh, producer and director, Scott Snyder, says I'm still trying to, to get that day. It's a long <laughs> day for, yeah. for all of us. <laughs> Mitchell with a rebound. Tigers lead by 10. They have the basketball, 425. Trapping in the backcourt. Tigers easily break it. Mitchell. Two steps. Stephen Perry not particularly happy with his guys. This is the time you got to show poise out there when you have the lead and the basketball. Bolden backs it out, now goes forward. Two-point shot by Davis. Nope, it's a three-point shot, and Tristan Davis will get three free throws. number one. Six points now for Mr. Davis. And he'll get one more. It's all three, so a good job that time. Cuts the lead to seven points. Full court pressure. They get it off to Thomas to the Toro. Nelson drives. This is off. Bowman lays it up and in. Great pass by Toro. Bowman, 13 points. This may be his career high. Bolden loses it in the corner. Three-point shot will not fall. Mitchell with a rebound. And here's Thomas. Thomas slows it up with 3.30 remaining in the ball game. Toro to Thomas and Toro playing catch. Nice job here. They got to come out and challenge him to make him advance the basketball. Wills out to Toro. Nice job by the Tigers here. Good patience. With this lead, they don't need to shoot the basketball. Bowman thought about it, but that, I like that. That's good. That's good discipline. Now Wills gets the signal that he has to advance it. He does. And he is fouled, and he is now shooting one and one. Good job by the Tigers, though. I like to see that. Yeah, they took quite a bit of time off the clock. And RJ hits the most important first shot. Hits them both. Wills with six points now. 
Tigers back up by 11. Tigers with some good defense there, forcing that turnover. Leah Toro. He puts it up and in, but I think I'd have rather seen him pull it back out. This guy's like a whirling dervish, all kinds of spin moves. He's got a bunch of them, no question about it. Nelson with 17 points tonight. Make it 18. And now Viatoro is coming out of the ball game. I think Stephen Perry might have a little word to say. No, he didn't. He just gave him a little pat on the butt. Say good job. Davis across the timeline with 2.08 remaining. Davis for the two, won't fall. Davis follows it up, won't fall. Wills comes away with it to take his time. And Wills is fouled by Davis. Again, he'll be shooting one and one. Hopkins comes into the ball game for the first time. Along with number 10, who's not on my roster. As Wills hits the first. Hits them both. That's clutch shooting down the line. He's hit five in a row. Shot up, no good. Rebound followed up by a mysterious number 10. Tigers with 124 left. They lead by 14. Mitchell gets the easy two points. He has nine, quickly back the other way. Three point shot, no good. Tigers get the rebound. And now we're just playing for the final score. Mitchell left alone pretty much, lays it up and in. Deshaun now with nine points. Somebody sure emptied out this gymnasium, didn't they? Yes, you? yeah, exactly. Well, the Tigers now in district play will have a record of eight victories and four losses, and for the season, they'll be 12 and 11. But it's the district play, obviously, that counts. Three-point shot, no good. Another three-point shot. That's no good. Ball swatted away. Boy, that's a good effort. I mean, you, you're getting bombed. It's been a horrible season. You got two wins. And this young man is diving into the stands to get try to save the least ball. Yeah, really. Love to see that type of effort. Nice job that time of stripping the ball away. They're going to call a foul, but man, that was really some good effort that time by Kohler. Get an idea of the speed that this young guy has. Boy, it looked like he just got the ball, too. Well, Kohler is a defensive back, and he started drawing interest late in the season, in the football season, uh, for a couple of reasons. He's fast, and you don't have many defensive backs who are six foot three. You like them when they're big like that. Well, he's also a wide receiver, too, yeah. so. If he plays college ball, it'll be as a defensive back. That's what they're interested in.
Coley hits them both. Or it's not Coley. Bolden hits them both. 25 seconds left. Tigers up by 17. Ron Keel dishes off. And drawing the foul is Michael Coley. Coley misses the first. He has two points tonight, so he will be in the paper tomorrow morning. It's the second. Ten seconds left. <laughs> Coley's down court. Give me the ball, give me the ball. He finally threw it. And it's not in a good position. Three seconds left. Davis from half court. And your ball game is over. Tigers win it 68 to 52. We'll be back right after this. So the Tigers win again, and they are almost in the playoffs. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but a good win here tonight, 68-52. to 52. Let's take a look at some of the uh, highlights. Well, the play of the game, in fact, is uh, what we like this one. Watch Toro with a no-look pass inside Bowman, who lays it up and in one more time. Do it, Nelson Forrest. Yes, to Bowman. Good job, and the Tigers win plenty tonight. Let's go to the floor right now where Bob Perry has head coach Stephen Perry. Bob? Your thoughts on tonight's game? Hey, glad to get through it, glad to get a win. Uh, thought the kids were resilient. Uh, you know, I told them tonight that, that our alternatives are a dangerous team. You know, they come in, they always play hard, but they got nothing to lose. Uh, and, and they fought hard. You know, we pulled out on them, but they fought back, but, but then we battled back, uh, resilient. No, your district record is eight and four. One more win you should be able to get in the playoffs. Easier said than done. You know, we play, uh, we go to Trinity. You know, they're, they're leading the district, and MacArthur's right behind them. Uh, you know, one thing we put on the board, one game at a time, right. one quarter at a time, one minute at a time, one possession at a time. So we're just going to look, look to take care of business when we go to Trinity. I remember earlier in the season, you said you thought these kids had a lot of potential, but they needed a lot of work, and it looks like they really come through for you. Yeah, uh, Absolutely. Uh, definitely proud of them. Uh, you know, they've they found their rhythm. You know, the, they're players that like each other. You know, so they've really built their chemistry and, and found their own identity and uh, it's their special team. Well, the final score is 68 to 52. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks, Coach. Yes, sir. Now let's go back to Lance Brown. So the Tigers come away with the victory, what they had to do tonight, and they did what they did best, and they just pressed all over the floor and they really shut down the Lions in that second half after the Lions gave him a good first half. Let's take a look at the scoring real quick for both these two teams. First off, for the uh, Lions, uh, Wolford leading the way with 14. Bolden coming away with 13 points. No one else in double figures. For the Tigers tonight, the leading score, Nelson Viatoro with 18. Bowman with 13. Mitchell with 11. And Thomas with 9. So a good victory here tonight for the Tigers. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast. We sure did. For my broadcast partner, Bob Berry, and our entire crew, led by our producer and director, Scott Snyder. My name is Lance Brown. Thank you so much for watching, and good night from Irving High. Game of the Week has been brought to you in part by Gerald Stavely Dry Cleaning.